56 of our 66 neighborhoods have unhoused individuals that we have interacted with. Yvonne Ramos says to beat the wind chill, some houseless people find shelter in vacant properties. And sometimes the Saskatoon assistant fire chief says fires are lit inside to help keep them warm. But that can be dangerous. That's why Ramos says the fire department takes a proactive approach by checking in with folks about why they are not in a shelter or permanent housing. Into temporary housing. Mm -hmm. Ramos says firefighters did about 600 of these check-ins in December alone and they have found some people still don't want to go to shelters. They're so deep into their addiction that the thought of going to shelter where maybe they might not be able to use for a certain amount of time is actually very daunting to them. Ramos says there are also people who live with mental health issues who prefer isolation. But some things many of us take for granted can also show up as barriers. We're asking about some of those gaps. So some of the gaps are pretty, pretty what would be simple to you and I. Um, identification. They lose their belongings or if somebody steals their identification, you can't do anything without an ID. Have you guys seen any individuals hanging out out here trying to stay warm? Ramos says unsheltered people often try to warm up in areas around the hospital. That's why firefighters do laps around here. You're okay? Just trying to stay warm? Downtown, behind the lighthouse shelter, an encampment is set up in the back alley. I'm never going to encourage living in these types of conditions. It's not safe. It's freezing. It's supposed to get even colder. Community groups say inflation and the rising cost of living has many low-income renters struggling. Lenny Siskin with the Quinn Development Corporation says Saskatchewan's new income assistance program is also adding fuel to the crisis. And the fact that uh, they've cut the direct payments of rents to landlords, all these things are, you know, they're just piling up and contributing to this perfect storm of homelessness in our city. A lack of affordable housing and evictions are also making the problem worse, says Sarah Bueller, a University of Saskatchewan law professor. She's been researching evictions from the first two years of the pandemic. One of the things that I found is that landlords win in the vast majority of cases uh, when it comes to evictions. The other thing that I found is the most common ground for eviction in Saskatchewan is uh, arrears of rent or non-payment of rent. More than 1,900 evictions have granted in Saskatchewan over the last year or so, and that's according to the Office of Residential Tenancies. And so far this year, court records show that there have already been more than 320 documented cases. But experts say the real number is likely even higher. Pratish Dayal, CBC News, Saskatoon.